speaking of crazy stuff going on, you may not get your UPS packages as fast as you want them. You may have to deal with slow uh, delivery times, and you may be wondering where that perfect gift that you were waiting on is at. You may be wondering, and the reason why is because UPS workers may go on strike. <laughs> what it could mean for you and your packages. It's getting more interesting day by day. So as we continue on here, uh, the last time UPS workers went on strike in 1997, it's been a long time, uh, FedEx and Postal Service scrambled to pick up the slack as the nation's, nation's largest delivery company slowed to a near standstill. Small businesses struggled to restock their shelves. Hospitals had a hard time securing supplies, according to New York Times reporting at the time. Before we even keep going, all right, this is 97. Supply disruptions, issues with at the hospitals with supplies, that's 97. That's before e-commerce, that's before Amazon, all the online shopping, all the eBay, all the stuff that's been going on. So imagine if this was to happen right now the severity and the chaos it would cause. Let's continue on. Consumers could also could face uh, that and more if the team, Teamsters Union and management cannot reach a new contract deal by the end of the month. If a strike does occur, it will be very disruptive, said Jason Miller, interim chairperson for the Department of Supply Chain Management at Michigan State University. The consumer is going to be much more affected uh, getting just everyday products that we buy online. So that means if you have, well, Keep in mind, Amazon is kind of safe in this because they really rarely use UPS for certain things, but they do occasionally, right? If you don't get it from the Amazon truck, you're most likely going to get it from UPS. Um, so what will happen if the UPS workers go on strike? Well, the 1997 strike threw a wrench in the supply chain, a 2003 stoppage could have an gr even greater effect on consumers now that the U.S. economy is ever so reliant on e-commerce how many times do you use amazon matter of fact what did you buy during prime day <laughs> it could take a while to get to you you never know you never know uh census data shows that less than one percent of total retail trade sales come from e-commerce in 99 less than one percent and that was back in 99 uh the first year the data was reported at the beginning of this year it was 15 percent that's how much it's grown since 99 uh the teamsters union has also grown since its last work stoppage from 185,000 members to 340,000 members if a strike does take place it would be the largest single employer strike in u.s history and you know what i would consider myself to be a realist right um, I definitely would consider myself to have an open mind towards things, but Hey, I'm just going to be honest here with the way things are going. This is probably going to happen. So if I were you guys, I would definitely prepare for this. Uh, if you have any kind of e-commerce business, if you rely on things shipping to you, you may want to start preparing now opposed to it happening. And then you're scrambling at the last minute and dealing with these kind of issues. Um, so it says even a short lived strike could have huge consequences for consumers, according to Terry Esper, a logistics professor at the Ohio State University. Had to say it like that for my football fans. Uh, they have a large network, he said, of UPS, uh, which delivers nearly 25 million packages daily and about a quarter of all U.S. parcel uh, parcel volume. Taking that kind of capacity out of the market, even for a day, will have significant ripple effects. And that's where I'm going to end it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with that said, make sure that you guys are preparing yourself for this as far as uh, what could happen. Because it seems like it's going to happen and it's going to lead to a trickle effect for many other things. Because best believe if uh, UPS does uh, have a strike, it's going to put major, major constraints, not just on uh, the Postal Service, but FedEx as well, DHL and everyone else.